Four candidates from Lethbridge West gathered at the downtown public library for an all-candidates forum last night. As Naveen Day reports, minimum wage, pipelines, health care and the highly controversial carbon tax were discussed. Last night, candidates squared off at an all-candidates forum. Questions were asked by the audience and a panel of media personalities, including our very own news director and anchor, Hal Roberts. The discussion provided a broad perspective on how the candidates view key topics. The Alberta Liberals, we have put ourselves out there for criticism because our economic policy involves <laughs> a tax. Rachel Donnelly is working to build one Alberta, one that works for all of us. On the other hand, Jason Kenney wants two Albertas, one for the wealthy and one for everyone else. We've put, what, lost 100,000 jobs in this province, oil field jobs? <coughs> These are well-paying jobs. Um, I can't imagine how you go from a $100,000 a year lifestyle to I can't make $30,000. How do you go from that to working at Tim Hortons? If someone's record can be cleaned, if, if they agree to treatment and continue to treatment, uh, those records have been shown to reduce the, uh, the amount of, of drug uh, addiction and abuse. Many public attendees said they have already decided who they're voting for, but they wanted to attend the forum just to hear the opponents answer the tough questions. The amount of debt that our province has now accumulated, um, I'm very concerned about that, that it's being passed on to my grandchildren, my, grand, my grandchildren's children as well. Um, and I really don't think um, media and the politicians understand this whole thing about debt. Uh, I retired early because uh, of the NDP's right, or their right, or think it's really right, to shut down the mountains for random camping and off-road vehicle use. Well, it was either that or I lay off three people, and I retired early because our, our industry took a big hit. It's a billion-dollar industry in Alberta. United Conservative candidate Carrie Flatla was not in attendance at last night's forum. She says her and her team are having more success, knocking on doors, and having one-on-one -on -one conversations. For Bridge City News, I'm Naveen Day.